this is what your aerial ball control should look like. But this is where you start. The bounce juggles are the foundations for building good aerial ball control. During the starting exercise, players should aim to achieve two things. Controlled ball touches at waist height and backspin on the ball. The backspin is important because it ensures the ball stays closer to you whenever you make contact with it. Practice with only one bounce juggle for each repetition until you get confident with both feet. Progression. Once you get confident with the bounce juggle, move on to the drop juggle. The drop juggle is just a tad more difficult as the drop causes the ball to gain more momentum. Nevertheless, ensure you aim to keep a controlled waist height touch and keep attaining that backspin. Progression. Now your aim is to juggle as many times as you can with each leg. Once you're confident juggling at least 5 controlled touches, you can move on to the drop alternate juggles. Progression. Aim to get at least 5 to 10 drop alternate juggles. Progression. Can you go hands free? Now it's your time to go hands free. If you get confident juggling the ball hands free, you'll be able to control the ball in the air with ease. Above the head juggles will help you manipulate aerial balls in ways you could never imagine. Progression. Practice the simple outside touch and then the outside directional touch. But wait, you still have to learn the inside juggle, the inside touch and the directional inside touch. Then there's also your shoulders, your thighs, chest touch, the back touch and even the booty touch. Well, maybe not that last one, but you get the picture. You can try practice controlling the ball with your head, but yeah, stuff like this can happen. So, hey, you do you. That's never happened before. Yeah,